Doctors diagnose a young Minnesota woman with a rare condition. It is commonly called sleeping beauty syndrome. Delaney Wire will suddenly become tired and then sleep from anywhere from two to five weeks. It's almost like a bear in hibernation. But in this case, it can come on at any time. As WCCO's Jennifer Merrily explains, there is no cure to sleeping beauty syndrome, but there is hope. Delaney Wire is adventurous, fishing, traveling, skydiving. Like many 23-year-olds, she wants to experience the world. But at 18, something happened on a school trip that wouldn't be explained until years later. When I was 18 was my first episode, is what they call it. I was sleeping a lot. When I was awake, I was delusional. Delaney barely remembers it. It would go on to happen another four times over the course of five years. I sleep anywhere from 15 to 20 hours a day. I just have no motivation to do anything. Um, very depressed feeling. Um, really frustrated because I don't know what's going on. During an episode, she only gets up to eat, drink, and use the restroom. The last one lasted five weeks. Delaney has seen multiple doctors, therapists. All the while, her mom worried. I'm a typical mom that would make her, force her to get up. And she's very irritable. And again, you know, the blank stare. You know, I question, was she lying to me? Was she being lazy? Was she taking some kind of drug? We don't know what the function of sleep yet is. Dr. Renji Varghese at HCMC's Minnesota Regional Sleep Disorder Center diagnosed Delaney with Klein-Levin syndrome. People during these episodes can become very dysphoric. And answered questions that had been plaguing the wires. It is real. It is not precipitated by any psychiatric problems, it's not precipitated by bad behaviors, it's not laziness, it is a brain dysfunction. Verghese says of the 500 documented cases, this typically happens in teenage boys and they can grow out of it. Delaney is the first Verghese has diagnosed. Klein-Levin affects one in a million. We don't know what really causes this. We have some ideas that it might be some sort of an inflammatory process in the brain, but no one's really been able to figure that out. What Delaney has missed while in episode weighs on her mind. I've missed major life events. I've missed a Thanksgiving. I've missed an Easter. I missed my grandpa's 85th birthday. I've missed my 21st birthday because I was an episode. Delaney doesn't remember taking this picture with her siblings. Her mom had to fly to Wyoming to bring her home because she wasn't cognizant to fly alone in episode. Still, the diagnosis gave Delaney and her family hope. That's what's very encouraging now, too, to know that if she goes through another episode, and it's likely that there is an end to the tunnel, that she will come out of it. We have a special presentation today. Thank you all for coming. She has chosen to use her condition to help others understand it, including doctors at HCMC. It helps her make sense of missing out. My very first episode was my senior year. I can educate them. This is what I have. My episodes aren't a choice. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. While there is no cure, medication can decrease the number and intensity of episodes. The next time it happens to Delaney, her mother will take her to the Sleep Disorder Center, and there she'll be monitored for a few days to learn more about what's happening and so doctors can learn more about the Klein-Levin syndrome.